Welcome to day five of the Summer of Wonder road trip through the Rockies. Today, Lexi and I began our day on the very eastern edge of North Dakota and are ending it on the western side at Lewis and Clark State Park. We had a lovely day, lots of driving today, but we're just one day away from being in Wyoming now and we've made every effort to make the most of the time that we have when we're not in the car. So I hope you enjoy all the things. Good morning from Grand Forks. Lex and I are on the river trail, which goes for miles on either side of downtown, I believe. Um, and we just had our first big argument of the morning where I really wanted to walk towards town and she was absolutely not having it. And I know, who says? Who's in charge of this dog? Yeah, I am when it matters, but I let her choose. But she was adamant. I think I would have had to carry her. So we're going this way and it's absolutely beautiful. This is how we roll, literally. Well, we're headed out of town a little later than planned and nothing went wrong. Today was just um, a day to recalibrate. So this morning was time to sleep, it was time to do laundry. It was all the things that aren't very glamorous that go along with a long road trip. Uh, repacking my food, um, just going through all the things and making sure that we're set up for success for the next few days. So I'm only two days out from being in Wyoming, so that's pretty exciting. Um, also headed to, I know I said this earlier about the hip camp in Wisconsin, but the state park that we're headed to on the other end of North Dakota um, is, I always say it's my favorite one I've ever stayed in. It's my favorite state park campground that I've ever stayed in. I just love it and I can't wait to show it to you. I'll talk more about that a little bit later. So nothing new to report from Grand Forks really except that laundry was cheap, gas is cheap. I had a lovely morning walking with Lexi. Other than our morning walk, Lex and I just chilled and I got some work done and yeah we feel great about the next step so stick around. So just pausing midway here on our way across North Dakota and noticed this sign. I thought it was worth stopping. So check this out. This is the Geographical Center of North America. I'm in Rugby, Rugby, North Dakota. So it feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere and I guess that makes sense because I am in the absolute middle of North America. It also occurs to me, I noticed I'm only about 45 miles from the Canadian border. So my Lord, that gives you just some idea of just how massive Canada is when I am in the geographical middle of North America. I guess that means West, East and North South. So pretty crazy. The little things, I love the little things. Okay, I love getting off the highway. We've been on, on, we've been on route two this entire day and so fun to just get off of it and to now be on what is called an avenue, which is a country road. Well, not really, more of a county road. But I'm loving watching all the grain being harvested. I guess it's that time of the season. It seems so early to me in mid-August, but um, I'm sure they have a short season here. And I have seen just hay baled everywhere along this um, ride today. So, I don't know, I love this. I just love it. This is our spot down there. It's so beautiful. Just a quick before and after of our descent site. So we're here in North Dakota at Lewis and Clark State Park, which is so beautiful. And um, yeah, just getting set up. So this is how it begins. We do have this, a nice picnic table. We also have a really nice um, fire situation. Everything is so clean too, which is really nice. Picnic table is in really good condition. There's shade. It's so nice. And then we also have water and electricity. So you know what that means. Chai latte in the morning. This dog, she always knows where the water is. I thought she was leading me wrong, but then we got up here and then we saw the view. This 
this is the Missouri River, sort of, and a lake that is partly called the lake, partly called the river. I don't really understand. And we have a fishing boat. So this is what it looks like at the end of the day when you've just put up your tent and you've driven for five hours and you're tired and you just really don't care what your hair looks like. It's that kind of day. It doesn't matter. So excuse the mess, but it's a happy mess. And we've had such a very fun day. Please like and subscribe on our YouTube channel so you can follow along with every day. Because again, starting tomorrow, we're gonna be in Wyoming which is going to be the beginning of really our time in white-capped mountains and high altitude. We cannot wait. We're gonna end our day here. Rex and I ended up back at the beach. We found a better, better access and she's just been swimming and we just had the best evening. So I don't know, I guess I just wanna say this is so worth it. All of the planning and struggle to like get on the road and budget and packing and figuring it all out. Like it is you know, so 1000% worth it. It's probably 72 degrees and breezy and the water's gorgeous. And Max is having such a good time. We're watching the sunset. We're watching the moon set over the water. It's just been a spectacular evening. We'll see you tomorrow.